This project is called the AIDS Competence Project. It's funded by the National Department of Health. And I'm the project manager for the Educational Support Services Trust. This is a very, very exciting, innovative, and new way of combating HIV AIDS. An AIDS competent community is a community where all the different sectors take responsibility to fight HIV AIDS together. It's creating a platform where there can be unity and where people can take action to achieve the goals and objectives that they desire. We don't come and impose what the community must do. They come up with their own activities. I was doing a research here in Extension 25. I don't choose specific people, but I just go to the houses, door to door. Yeah, all people there is. You can ask any question you like than the young people, because young people, they know about HIV, but they don't want to speak. Some of them, you have to beg to ask them questions. If she don't want, he or she don't want to speak, just, it's okay. It's her rights or his rights to speak about HIV. The research from ESST was just fun for me. I was collecting my answers from the community. Last year, the work was done in Embalentle, a very, very large township, and this was a spill uh, this, the project spilled over into this community. There were one or two workshops here. This year, the National Department wanted us to do an in-depth, intense work. So we interviewed over 300 people. We did a full-on community survey. Why do you know about HIV? Have you ever done a HIV test? Can it kill people? Do you wish to do a HIV test? If somebody is positive, do you know where can, can she or he get help? Where they can get ARVs. If you have found that you are positive, you're gonna tell your parents, family, friend, or you just keep quiet. The research changed me a lot. I'm planning to have my own office. The research is about how the AIDS affects the people. And we had some people who come and disclose that they had AIDS and they need help. It feels bad for me knowing that there are people who can help them, but they don't know them. There are some health facilities here, but they are not acknowledged. You have to speak to somebody so that you can get a help easily. To see how the people of the community saying all about what the community needs and what the community struggle of. There are a lot of things that I didn't notice that are happening in my community that are happening. Everyone must stand up, say, say their mind. Have, you know, they have something in their mind. Don't, don't just sit with it and say maybe expect uh, maybe a government to come, whatever it's just to help. As people. We can change, make, bring change to our community. There are huge issues that have to be dealt with because 70% of the community is unemployed. Today what we had was we had a whole bunch of young people coming together. We had uh, people from different community sectors here, senior people from the Provincial Department of Health. All the work has been leading up to this day where the community takes full ownership and full responsibility for the project. We came up with 11 activities inside in the space of a couple of hours. And those are things that the community wants. We were divided into groups, discussing our long-term goal and how are we going to achieve our, our goal. Finally, we came up with activities that we need to conduct. A plan of action to conduct various awareness activities in order to reach the women through their stock fills and their societies, to reach the youth, to, to focus on targeting men who tend to frequent shibins. They're also going to be coming up with doing research on income generating projects, possibly brick making, recycling, and other activities as well. Unemployment, it's a leading tool to HIV and AIDS because people are not working. As we know that the extension 25 is it's a small area, is growing. There will be need of uh, bricks in terms of building RTP houses, as you see in, in our neighbors now. We're going to make bricks for living. 
Orphans and vulnerable children are a very needy group in the community. We don't have an orphanage home for our orphans because sometimes we get children walking and running the street, they have no home. This bunch of young people are planning on doing dance, drama, teaching them life skills, helping them with their homework, trying to get sponsorship and funding to help them with bread and food and things like that. Uh, our orphans, you know, we normally identify them uh, on, on house visit on daily basis. So we put it down, their stand numbers, their names, their date of birth. Sometimes we visit crashes, we visit centers, we have a drop-in center here. We visit schools, because in the school there's a program for orphans in our primary school in Kindros. We started to give out uh, jerseys to 40 children that are orphans in our area. After that, we give them blankets, as we know that it's a winter now they will be warm at home. This is a brand new model and a way of fighting HIV AIDS, which can be duplicated anywhere in the country. Because if you're sitting down and doing nothing, there's nothing gonna happen. But when we are together and sharing ideas, we have one man and one, one point of view. Maybe when people that are busy sharing, sharing when they are points, one thing then gonna come out. We have initiated a process of change. The community has taken ownership and responsibility, and we look forward to seeing the results. To take this responsibility is the next step. You must carry on, and we'll give you a report. I have that hope. The thing that I would like to see happening for King Rose to be AIDS competent, it's partnership between um, the clinic, the home-based carers or the peer educators and the community. I believe the community doesn't take much responsibility for their lives. If the community can be educated and motivated to say, this is your life, you're doing this for yourself, and they take that partnership. Because even if you can take the horse to the river, can you can't make it drink water. You can never change a person. You can never, unless they have a will inside them to change. I would like the community to respond because uh, there are few opportunities like your project. If I fight HIV and AIDS in my area, I think I can also fight HIV and AIDS in Cape Town. Because maybe someone from Cape Town or someone from Zambia, for an example, comes here, doesn't know anything about HIV and AIDS. I'm the one who's going to tell them, that person about HIV and AIDS and how important it is to prevent it or to fight with it. Kindros can set an example by preaching this word of HIV and AIDS. And uh, people can be surprised, maybe when they check in Kindros uh, HIV and AIDS rate, right, maybe it's low. Then they will be surprised as in like, how Kindros they are? It's full of those ladies who are selling themselves, but it, their AIDS it's right, it's low. How are they doing it? As a community member, I need to be responsible for myself. I need to be responsible for my community. I need to share, I need to spread the message.